BBLA 51, turn right, heading 183. 014, Papa, turn right 245, report localised established. It's been a hectic past 24 hours for Boeing. However, before I do get underway, there's actually a new episode of the DJ's Aviation Podcast now streaming on platforms if you are interested. Coverage for today is on none other than the American aircraft manufacturer being that of Boeing. They reported their Q4 2021 results while also announcing their full year financial results. There are many exciting and I'd also argue frustrating developments, so I won't waste any time getting into them. For the aircraft manufacturer, they've noted that 2021 was definitely an improvement, however it was another generally slow year, with difficulties incurred on various different programs, as you're more than likely aware, hampering their overall performance and goals. As a result, they reported a net loss of some US $4.29 billion for the calendar year of 2021. Ultimately, this is a reduction on 2020's loss, which means it's undoubtedly an improvement. Losses for 2020 were recorded at some US $12 billion, so that's a significant change of around about $8 billion, and highlights not just differences for numerous aircraft programs, but the industry's slow recovery, having numbers greatly improve over time. Namely, also the return of the 737 MAX, with production resuming in 2021 alongside deliveries and several airlines not just putting their faith in the series once again but having it return to the skies has impacted Boeing positively something for 2020 they were unable to say the same for. For the Boeing 787, that's namely where the most difficulties came into the scene for the American aircraft manufacturer. This is a series that for the most of 2021 had production cease alongside deliveries. Of course, this is severely hampering the aircraft series, which has already incurred severe cuts on production on numerous occasions prior to 2021. Deliveries of the 787 will still at this point be likely months out, and this is with thanks to reports from Reuters, Bloomberg, and many others. And of course, it being months out is still wishful thinking. We know how things go within the aviation industry. It's very easy to say that something will be ready in three months, and it very quickly stretches to seven months. This can be especially noted when it is a fix for an aircraft that is currently technically grounded. However, at the moment, they they are working on this. 2021, I guess you could sum up, was a challenging year for Boeing, but they remain optimistic for their 2022 outlook. For them, they saw 2020 as the lowest of the low, 2021 was definitely a rebuilding year, and now for 2022, they believe that the initial stages of the calendar year will be focused on recovery, but by the middle of the year and towards the end, they'll have the 787 back, more progress on the 777X, with production also increasing on the 777s, and of course, they'll hopefully have welcomed in significant new orders for their 777X freighter venture, which was confirmed yesterday to now be on offer to customers, similar to the route that Airbus went down without a proper announcement as of yet, but we're still waiting for that official word through a press release or something of sorts. On top of that, Qatar Airways will likely be ordering the 777X freighter sooner than we all know it. What are your thoughts on Boeing's results? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching. Do take care and be safe. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video here on the channel.